Question 1A. We were given the following information. The accountant of a small trading business has provided the following info about the firm's profitability for the year ended 31st December during the past two years. And what we've got is some figures for 2021 and some figures for 2022. And it's a mixture of our financial indicators. We've got our gross profit margin, our return on assets, and our net profit margin. And we've also got some dollar figures here for total net sales and average total assets. And in this question, we were asked to calculate the firm's net profit for 2021 based on the information provided. So there's two things to remember here. One, we can never ask you to calculate any of the indicators. For example, the study design says on the exam, you don't have to calculate net profit margin. Uh, or gross profit margin, or return on assets. So is that what this is asking? It's actually not. It's asking you to calculate the firm's net profit, which is a dollar figure. So that's a different thing. So we can ask you to do that. The second thing to remember is it says for 2021. So we're only talking about this data and not this data for this particular question. So how could you answer this? Well, we're going to need two bits of info. We're going to need the total net sales of 390000 and the net profit margin 11%. So whilst we can never ask you to calculate net profit margin, you kind of need to know how it's calculated. And one way to do that is to solve for X. So to do that, you would need to know that net profit margin is the net profit divided by net sales. And in this case, it's the net profit figure here that we don't know. So let's call that X. And if that's divided by the net sales, which is 390,000, it's resulting in 11%. So we could swing, if this is 390 is dividing on this side, we could swing it over there and figure out that X must be 11% times 390,000. And that is 42,900. So we have the answer. Now that's just one option because that did actually involve a little bit of maths, a little bit of algebra. And personally, I'm not good at that and I wouldn't even do it like this. Um, but if you are good at maths and you understand that, that is definitely an option. What you want to do though is use a little thing called vertical analysis that we did earlier uh, when we learned this topic and what that says is you can express every number in the income statement as a percentage of the revenue so for example if the revenue in 2021 was 390,000 well that's hundred percent of itself and then what we know is that the net profit is 11 percent so that must mean it's 11 percent of what 390,000 and if we do the maths on that we get the same answer of 42,900. Why this is good is because we can use this to answer some of the other questions later on, because if we look at it and it says gross profit margin was 41%, well, that must mean 41% of 390,000, which is 159,900. Well, that must mean if the revenue was 100,000 and the gross profit was 41, then cost of goods sold was 59, and we can get that figure. And that must also mean if the gross profit was 41% and we only finished with the net profit of 11%, well, the other expenses must have been 30%. And yeah, we've got the same answer. Um, it's just going to come in handy later on to be able to calculate all these other figures. So how did we answer this? We just got given a box. So I always recommend putting your calculations in. There was one mark. Um, but yeah, you can put it in there if you're 100% confident, but always put in your workings out because um, although it's only one mark, you either get one or zero. For another question where there is more marks, you always want to put in uh, how you got to the number. So therefore, if you didn't quite get it right, you might get some marks in the end anyway.